Hello friends, welcome back to another Manly Man Tumblr tutorial. We're gonna do a wood grain flag peekaboo design on this cup. So I've got a 32 ounce tumbler from the Tipsy Magnolia and we're gonna start with our wood grain. I'm gonna use the same alcohol inks that I used in my last video. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it for you so you can watch that one as well. But we're using just regular like Tim Holtz alcohol inks. You can get these on Amazon, Michaels, pretty much any craft store. And I took the two darker colors that are in this pack and I mixed them together in my medicine cup. And you can see I'm just using a chip brush to brush the alcohol ink all over the tumbler. Now, because we're doing a peekaboo, I'm really not paying attention to the bottom of the cup at all. I'm kind of going down there a little bit, but my main peekaboo design is going to be on the top part of the cup. So I'm really gonna get my wood grain nice and pretty up there but I'm not really paying attention to the bottom of the tumbler. Now, like I said in my last video, I like to keep my wood grains really simple. So I just do some basic painting strokes with my chip brush and it ends up looking like a really nice wood texture and tone. But if you want to, you can create different types of knots in your wood. You can do all kinds of crazy things, but I prefer my wood grains to be very simple. So I'm just going to go over a few areas a couple times to deepen the color, give us a little bit of variation, but that's about it. I'm going to keep this very, very simple. So once I've got all my alcohol inks on my tumbler, I'm going to let my cup sit and dry for at least 24 hours. I don't seal my alcohol inks with anything, but I do let them sit and dry for a really long time to make sure that they will epoxy fine. I don't want any issues when I epoxy, so I just let them dry for a while, but I do not seal them. So after my two coats of epoxy, I did do a little bit of sanding. So this is what the cup looks like after the sanding and washing and everything. And now we can apply our stencil for the peekaboo. So this file I got on Etsy. I will link it down below in the description box for you. And I cut it out on my silhouette with my stencil vinyl. As always for peekaboos, I prefer to use stencil vinyl rather than removable and definitely not permanent. Now, when I sized this file, I measured around my tumbler and then I made my file the same width or as big as I could make it. The 32 ounce tumbler I'm using is a little bit wider than my silhouette will let me cut with a regular mat. So I basically just made this file as wide as I possibly could. So we'll have a little bit of a gap, but in the end, it's not going to matter because of the peekaboo. So I'm going to weed everything out, put my transfer tape on, and then I'm going to apply this essentially the same way I would a pattern vinyl wrap. I'm going to cut all of my edges and then I'm going to attach one end of the stencil vinyl with the backing on. I'm going to use some painter's tape to attach it to my tumbler and then I'll push the vinyl onto the tumbler with my vinyl squeegee. Like I said, the same way that I would with a sheet of pattern vinyl. Now you can see as I push this onto the tumbler, we've got a little bit of overlap where the cup starts to taper in and get smaller. And I'm just going to apply this like that's not happening. And then once I've got the decal and everything on the tumbler, I'll go through and I'll try to lay those pieces down as flat and as smoothly as I can. It doesn't really matter how they look. Really, all we need is a semi-clean area for the peekaboo. We are going to deal with this area a little bit more later, so I'm not super worried about these laying down perfectly or not wrinkling or anything like that. I just want to get them to a place where they're laying okay enough so that they won't mess up the peekaboo. So once all of that is done and we've got our stencil vinyl down on our tumbler, we can go outside and paint it. I chose to use just a flat black spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I painted the whole cup black and let it dry for maybe like 45 minutes. And now I'm going to go through and do my favorite thing ever when I do a peekaboo. It's peely peely time, y'all.
we're not going to worry about these white spots that are at the bottom of our tumbler because we're going to cover them up. So once I'm done peeling all of my stencil vinyl off, this is what the cup looks like. We're going to add another coat of epoxy over this. That coat was the same as the others, maybe about 25 milliliters. After that coat, I did another round of sanding super duper lightly. And now we're going to go in and add a little bit more dimension to our foresty area of the peekaboo. So I cut out some evergreen trees just using regular black vinyl. I got that file on Creative Fabrica, so that of course will be linked down below for you. And I just cut these out. I just picked a random size that I thought might work. And I'm going to place these by hand over all of those white areas that we've got on the bottom of the tumbler. So this is going to just add another layer of dimension to the peekaboo, make it a little bit more intricate and interesting, and it's going to cover up all of those weird sections at the bottom of the tumbler. Of course, if you want to, you don't have to do this step. You can just paint your whole cup with the wood grain, do the peekaboo, and then be completely done after that. But I wanted to add a little extra something, make the peekaboo or the design overall more than just the peekaboo. But of course, feel free to do whatever you think will look best and work better for you. After all the trees are placed down, I'm going to take my black Posca paint pen and I'm going to color in any areas that might look a little weird. Like if we've got any little spots in between trees that I feel like would look better if they were just colored in black, I'm just going to go through and fill in a few of those spaces by hand just so everything looks really nice and clean and finished. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to let my paint pen dry about 30 minutes and then I can go in and add my final two coats of epoxy. So that is it for this tumbler design. I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun putting this together. I love a wood grain and I love a peekaboo, as you all know. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching as always, and that's it. Okay, love you. Bye. Hello friends, thanks so much for watching this video. I wanna say a huge special thank you to my elite fam, my channel members, and my subscribers. You all make this channel possible, so thank you so much for being part of the fam. If you want more exclusive content from me, you can join my elite fam at patreon.com slash elite fam. You can find my tumblers and digital files on my website, madebymalstudio.com. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram at madebymal underscore studio. Here's another video for you to check out and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Love you. Bye.